They've made a mess in here. Holy crap. What are you doing over here? What's that? Find anything fun yet? Dude, look at all that BX cable in there. You guys care if I grab that BX cable in there? Uh, you can do it. Grab whatever you want out of there. Yeah? Cool. Appreciate it. Gotta find my footing here. Grab all the snippings before they fall through. Yeah, let's try and get some kind of box going here. Always kind of amazes me that these guys just don't keep it for themselves. Hey man. A lot of that shit's gonna be just sheathing, by the way. Okay. Yeah. I'm at the fourth time. Yeah. Just sheathing, he says. So you can kind of tell by the weight, which is uh, just sheathing and which is still full. And then if it's sticking out, a lot of times you can just pull it right out because better off, better off just getting the copper wire. And the sheathing is aluminum, so if you got enough of it, can be worth it. But yeah, if that's sticking out, I'm pulling that through. Oh, I've got some good old shred conduit here. Oh yeah. That's some thick wire. So this right here is a insulated aluminum wire. Um, you'll get like 12, 13 cents a pound for this. That's, that's coax scrap here, doesn't want that. Okay, that's a good find. All those new EVs need, uh, need copper, right? Can't have it going to the landfill. We got all this aluminum separated out. Might as well grab it real quick. Hey, didn't even take up that much space. Light bar. Light bar and a little, little bit of wire. One tip is these ballast. Some scrap yards will take them as uh, copper bearings, so you'll get more than shred steel. Unfortunately, mine doesn't. Oh, somebody looks like somebody dumps some stuff in here. I don't think. I don't think Big Lots is throwing out ancient uh, keyboards. Little bit of scrap. Dollar Tree. Nothing. Man, look at all those bagels. Yeah. We're gonna take a few of these. This is like pumpernickel. If you got a bagel shop near you, hit it up. I couldn't find a bag, so this is my best uh, solution here. Well, uh, Buffalo Bill's bagel bag. Buffalo Bill's bagel bag. <laughs> Some stuff from the GNC here. Let's get it. Somebody had a good time last night. As you can see, it expired or passed the best buy of March 24th. So, uh, so now it's in the dumpster. We'll take it. Oh man, 
Look at all that frickin' wire. How you doing? Hey, how's it going? Good. What are you doing over here? Ah, uh, they got some wire in here, so... Grab some scrap. Ah, there you go. Yeah. Now, what do you, just give it to the junkyard like that, or you gotta strip it? Uh, no, you can give it to them just, just, uh, just like that. So some of it's probably like 12, 14 gauge. You'll get like about a buck a pound for no that. Oh shit. And then this, the, like the smaller stuff, that, that's like 35 cents a pound. My father used to do that when I was growing up. Yeah. We used to go to these different places. He goes, come on, we're going out on a trip. And he yeah. collect it all, scrap it. He collect lead and all that. and make sinkers for fishing. Sure. And he was into that too. I mean, it's it, it adds up. Yeah, uh, it does. And it's, you know, it's nice to have a hobby that actually make a little bit of money from. Yeah. So. Hey, I'm collecting cans. Yeah, yeah. Let's it's, see one here. Everyone needs a little hustle, right? Yeah, not causing anyone no harm. No. You know? No. So you gotta just jump in there. Yeah, yeah, it's a young man's game for sure. Hey, it'll keep you in shape. That's right. All right. Yeah. Have a good one. You too. some tools it's a little electrical wire stripper there uh, so most of this is insulated copper wire and it's got multiple layers of insulation on it so this will go to the scrapyard as uh, low grade insulators When it's already that low grade, it's really just not worth the time to strip it. I'll just turn it in as is. With thicker stuff, maybe. So that's you know, that's probably five or six pounds. So it's like two bucks. Not much, but it adds up. And uh, since we're here, we'll hit this Burlington Co Factory. Looks like they've made a fucking mess in here. Holy crap. What's that? Find anything fun yet? Uh, just some wire. Not, yeah. not yet though. We hope the same thing. Yeah. We gotta do what we gotta do. Yeah. What, what a, a pound of butter costs more than a gallon of gas. I know, right? Got gotta do it. Good luck, Have a good one. Man, I really hope that it wasn't divers who did this. I mean, if it was employees, like you'd get fired for this, wouldn't you? Pretty bad. You no, know, we'll, uh, I'll take like the five minutes it's gonna take to at least, at least get this loose stuff back in there because it's gonna blow all around. Might as well keep things clean. Getting paid, getting paid to clean up. Four cents. <laughs> Not perfect, but it's certainly better than it was. There's a cord right there. Okay, just a power cord. Two points. Hi, kitty cat. What's your name? You can come back. So there's a very good reason she's in this dumpster because it's full of food. This is uh, a food distribution warehouse where they distribute uh, mom's meals and all kinds of other stuff. So. She's probably trying to get into this here. Got home style meatloaf. You want some? Hey. Well, we'll leave it for her later. So a great place to go find some food dumpster diving is these like food storage warehouses. Uh, like you see behind me here, if, the, if stuff gets left at temperature for too long or stuff goes past the best by date, they throw it in the dumpster. 
and I'm pretty sure what happens with these mom's meals is it's like I think people on Medicaid get them or Medicare I'm not sure they go out on trucks and they try to deliver all of them and there's a fraction that they can't deliver and those ones just go straight in the trash pretty much every single day here they've got a roll-off dumpster up there so we're gonna go check that out Usually that's jam-packed with stuff. When people see me dumpster driving, they think rats. They're like, oh man, a rat pissed on that, for sure. But actually, the most common animals I see are squirrels and cats, just like that one that uh, just hopped out of dumpsters I pulled up. Uh, raccoons, a little bit more rare. And I've really seen like one or two rats my whole decade of dumpster diving. Uh, and that's because I stay away from food dumpsters. You know, the places with the grease traps, that's where you never even want to, it's never even worth to stop there and dive. This is nice, I got a little peephole. What's in there, huh? Hey, it looks like just more packaging stuff. Woo! Just a dumpster full of cardboard. Uh, so this place packages up chips for a bunch of different food companies like Lily's Baking Products. There they, are, there they are, right there. I know where I can go for some food grade buckets. And uh, this is what they start with for those chips, actually. It's like a brick of chocolate. It looks like a brick of cocaine. So all those dives you just saw was over the course of two days, about an hour on Friday afternoon and an uh, hour this morning after breakfast. I feel like I'm getting better at these videos and having a lot of fun uh, improving my editing, improving my filming, getting more shots. Hey honey, I need you for a video. Why me? Yeah, if you want to watch another video, we've got one of Aaron narrating my scrap drop, which everybody loves, so check that out right here.